In the Chinese city of Lanzhou, crews worked quickly to restore safe tap water to three out of four affected districts. Tests show their water no longer has high levels of the toxin benzene. At its peak, the contamination affected 2.4 million people. CCTV's Hu Chao joins us now from Lanzhou. Um, so what is the progress for Monday morning, Chao? At 17 o'clock uh, Sunday, there was another news conference. On this press meeting, local officials reconfirmed that the water contamination was caused by oil leak from a nearby factory. The name of the factory is Lanzhou Petrochemical Company, which was built in 1950s. Um, it, it is the largest petrochemical company in West China. Uh, local officials say that uh, the oil leak is actually remains from two accidents that happened respectively in 1987 and 2002. And they say they will make further investigation into this incident to find out how exactly the oil leak contaminated the water plant channel and the exact positions of the leaking points on the water plant channel. And next, they will also find out who will re be responsible for this incident. As of Monday, among the four affected districts, twelve ditches around the contaminated channel have been dug after an oil leak was found in these ditches. The initial investigation has confirmed that contamination was caused by nearby petrochemical factories. Local police have seized the suspected areas and are carrying out an investigation. Meanwhile, officials added that the oil leak came from a pipeline operated by the Lanzhou Petrochemical Company, a subsidiary of the China National Petroleum Corporation. The channel that connects the number one and number two water plants of the water supplier Valley is just under this area. And this is one of the wells. As you can see, the water is from the channel. But as you can see, there is an oil factory just behind me, about 100 meters away from the well. Local officials say that workers from the factory have digged some ditches for water tests. And uh, this ditch, as you can see, the water in it is very black and there is a very strong smell of oil. Most affected districts have resumed water supplies and have canceled their emergency response. Only one district, the Sigu district, still has unsafe levels of benzene in its tap water. Many citizens are complaining that the cutoff has affected their daily lives. We are so anxious. It has brought much inconvenience to our life. We hope water supplies can be resumed as soon as possible. The local government is still distributing free water to residents in Sigu district. Water plants are also still undergoing a deep clean. Filter systems have been repeatedly washed to flush out the pollutants. By now, we have the new information that there will be another news conference on this morning. I uh, hope to bring you more information later. Back to you. All right. Thank you so much, Hu Chao, joining us live from Lanzhou.